Thank you for joining me today. I'm so pleased that you've decided to come and listen and watch. Today I'm going to be doing a requested video of how I do my backgrounds with gel crayons. So I'm going to show you both with, I have these Mayped Color Peps Smoothie gel crayons, but there are a lot of different varieties available. Another gel crayon that I've got is not the ice cream, but um, the Faber-Castell Gelatos. So I'll show you with both of them. It's so easy, and this is not going to be a very long video, but I thought I would first show you on some scrap paper, just says that you have an idea of what it all looks like. So what I do is I decide on the colors I'm going to use and over here when, oh, I need my reading glasses on again. So I always enjoy either the red to orange to yellow or blue and green. So let's go pink, orange, yellow. And I'll show you what I do is I scribble. Now you can use any non-porous surface to scribble on. So I think a plate, let me see, I've got this plate that I do my, that works just as well. This is just a porcelain plate. I just happen to like this as a Caran d'Ache, um, I've forgotten what it's called, something, aqua something, and it's got a rough side and a smooth side. So for this, um, for this, I use the smooth side. So I scribble, and then I scribble, and I scribble. <laughs> Let me scribble there so it's nicely on screen. And then I like to use these makeup brushes that you can get. Um, I bought mine here in South Africa at Take A Lot, um, and but they are very easily available on Amazons as well. They're very inexpensive and they work like a charm for this kind of thing. So I usually, I very seldom use this one or that one. I usually use, this is my favorite size. And basically what you do is I've sort of broken the back of this a little bit so that's why I hold it so near the end is you pick up some colors so you rub your brush along there and then you transfer that color dry onto your paper I'm going to go onto orange there I'm just mixing them together a bit more pink and I'm going to go to yellow and they blend so nicely. I'm going to use all of this up. And there you have a lovely smooth blended background. Now it's exactly the same sort of thing um, with the gelato. I'll show that to you. Um, all one needs to do to clean this is I use a baby wipe. Where would we be without our baby wipes? I rather like these Himalaya baby wipes because they smell like baby baby cream and baby powder, <laughs> which I love that smell. So it's a little bit damp here, so I'm just going to dry this off. Um, so what color shall I use? I'm going to use different colors. I'm going to use a blue. The gelatos are slightly more pigmented. There's a pale color. Scribbling. I hope this is on screen. Yes. I'm going to use a darker blue as well. And let's go with a nice minty green. And it's the same story. So. I'm using a different brush because I haven't cleaned that one. So I'm going to pick up 
first this dark blue it's a bit tacky and we're rubbing on you can see I've got fingertips over there so um, it's picking up the oil from my skin so one needs to be a little bit careful not to get oil on the paper and mixing there we go I'm just going to use this all up I'm mixing them all together here and getting a kind of a mixed teal color but that's all I do and then to clean the brush to clean these brushes I'll show you that just now actually first going to do some of this in an actual coloring book so let me get rid of that and then I decided I would show you how I do this um, this 50 diminutive countryside scenes by Camellia Angel Cova. I wanted to color this image. No, not that image. This image. And I've thought that is sort of a blue sky. So I've got the bluish on here. And I'm going to use the gelatos for that. So I've got some dark blue and some sorry about my arm going over the whole screen. This one is called snow cone it's very light and I wonder what this one is called it's the same it's a snow cone I buy sets and then I get so many of the same things so I happen to have three snow cones There's another blue in here my pile cotton candy it's a nice mid blue and I'm going to add this mayped one here as well which is also kind of a mid blue and now I'm just going to I I'm not quite sure but I think I just want to do sky and maybe leave it blank around here I um, haven't quite decided so I'm going to start in a mid color and just start it's got some green on my brush but I'm not going to let it bother me. <laughs> I don't actually know how we got green on that brush there. Going around there. And then I want to bring in some of the dark along the t edge. it's always different when you're doing a video and I quickly decided to film this because I was supposed to be teaching now and then my people cancelled at the last minute because her mom was trying to collect her passport and she got held up at the I mean all of that sounds like so um official I just mean it took a longer time than she expected and so they didn't get here um, going on with this blue here again 
I'm going to try mixing this in with that there. So I want to clean it off. I don't like the greenishness that's there, so I'm trying to cover that up with this darker blue. Yeah, that's better. So we're getting quite a dark sky. Now I want to make a bit of a cloud there, so I'm going to um, see what happens if I just use a little one. And join up there. So the more you go over it, the better it starts to look. And I just want this sort of cloudy look over there. And I'm going to just go in the edge with the dark. And then I do, once I'm completely finished with my image, I do spray it with fixative. So um, I actually want to wash this before I continue because it's got some green in there that I obviously didn't clean off properly. So I'm going to show you, I'll finish this offline and you can see it in my completed pages of the month. Um, but what I do to clean the pages, and I learned this from Sandy and Color Creatively, who has a lovely channel, which I, if you haven't watched the video of getting to know us better, then I would highly suggest you watch that. It's on both my channel and hers, is I spray this with water and then rub it on a paper towel. That's all you need to do. I do it a few times. And because it's water soluble, it cleans and then you just leave it to dry. Easy as that. I'm going to clean this one now as well. I suppose, I can't remember which one I used for the orange. Maybe that's what's making the blue look green. Maybe I had yellow on it. I can't remember. I'm getting confused. We're going away for a week tomorrow. And um, I will try and upload this and another video before we leave. So you're not left without a video to watch. If I don't, I hope you'll forgive me. So this is all you do for cleaning the brushes. And then they're good to go again, but they need to dry because the stuff is water soluble. It's so I've done a lot of it off camera. I often find I, it's really difficult to show things on screen. Um, and I put in some pressure behind 
my arm and I prefer how it looks now. I found a different blue color that I really like, which is blueberry. And that's that color. I didn't like the green that I had. But now, as you can see, I've gone over into the white every here and there. This actually erases very well. So I just wanted to show you, I'm using my Derwent electric razor um, in the center of these places. And for the major erasing, um, like on these flowers, and it lifts off very easily. Just going to take it, take off the rubbings <laughs> with my brush. I think my battery is starting to give way a little bit here and um, this flower here I often find with the eraser that I tend to press too hard and then it gets stuck such a lot here and then you can also if you don't happen to have an electric razor eraser these little mono erasers work very well I've got this one that's sort of flat which I quite like So that's erasing quite well and then I also have this other little round mono eraser which is nice to I just want to put my hand on a piece of paper towel so that I don't get I wear such a lot of hand cream that I tend to leave oily residue on the coloring pages and then even pencil sometimes it changes how things look and especially for backgrounds like this so you can see there's perhaps a little bit of the blue still showing um, but going over this with pencil with color pencil um, it works very well I normally do the background after I've colored the, the page but I'm taking this book with me on holiday and intending to color this page while I'm on holiday. So I thought I would just show you this background, how to do the gel crayon background. There we are. I'll finish clearing this up off camera. But you can see, I can't quite decide if I should put a green or a brown or make the whole thing blue. Be interesting to hear your opinions. I wish you'd tell me what you think. Um, I think one of the th reasons I like these books is also because you don't actually have to do backgrounds. So I wouldn't normally have done a great big background, but I think this works quite well here. Um, I also think some clouds would look quite nice. I'm just wondering about maybe erasing clouds or something. We'll see. I probably will just leave this like that. So we've come to the end of this video and I'd like to say thank you so much for watching. Thank you for spending time with me on my channel 
and I hope to see you again soon. Please remember to click that little like button if you've enjoyed the video and let me know what you think. Have you used these gel crayons? Have you used gelatos in this manner before? Have a wonderful day and a super week. Bye-bye now.